Here's four Final Cut Pro tips in five minutes for flipping your video horizontally. I'll show you a one-click flip effect and how to customize your flips. And at the end, I'll share a secret keyboard shortcut for rotating your video like a pro. Okay, in Final Cut Pro, open up the effects browser by clicking on this button right here on the right-hand side, or just pressing Command-5 on your keyboard and it will open up the effects browser. These are categories on the left-hand side. Go down to Distortion Category and then look for the effect called Flipped. If you skim over the thumbnail, you can preview what that effect will look like. I can drag and drop it onto my clip, or with my clip selected, I can double click on the effect and it will get automatically added to the clip. Go to the inspector over here on the right hand side. If you don't see it, click on this button with the three sliders or press command four to open it up. Then go to the video inspector by clicking on this film strip icon and you'll see under effects we have flipped added. I can change the amount of flip with this slider. So here is the original video clip. There's no flipped effect added to it because it's at zero. And then I can change it little by little until it's all the way flipped horizontal. I can also change the direction to vertical or to both. Let's go back to horizontal. One thing that's cool about this slider is you can animate it. So I'll put it down to zero and then I'm gonna add a keyframe by clicking this little button here. And I'll move forward in my timeline a little bit and I'll change the amount to 100. And now you'll see we have this animation and it is flipping awesome. If I wanna change that animation timing, I'll select my clip, press Control V, and you'll see I have a couple keyframes here for the animation. I can make it faster by moving them closer together or slower by moving them apart. Here's what that looks like now. I can also flip it manually. I'll go to the video inspector and under transform, I'll adjust scale. To flip it horizontally, all I need to do is change scale X from 100 to negative 100. I'll double click on the number and enter negative 100, enter. And now it's flipped horizontally just like the effect. If I wanna flip it vertically, I'll change scale Y from 100 to negative 100. And if I want to flip it horizontally and vertically, I'll just change scale all to negative 100. I can also do that right here in the viewer. I'll right click on the viewer, select transform, and let's zoom out a little bit. I'll click up here on the percent sign and let's zoom out to 50%, okay. Now I can click and drag on any of these side handles here to flip it horizontally. You'll notice at the top of my screen here, the width percentage is changing. I want to get it back to 100%, otherwise it's squishing the image. I can also click and drag on the top or bottom handle to flip it vertically. And if I wanna flip it both horizontally and vertically, just click and drag on any of these corner handles and go to the opposite side. And if I ever mess up and want to go back to normal, all I have to do is click this reset button up here and I'm back to how the video normally was. Then I can click done. Are you flipping out over these sweet tips? If so, will you let me know by giving this video a thumbs up? I really appreciate it. Next, I'll show you a couple different ways to rotate your video. Check this out. Right click on the viewer and select transform. We've seen this before, but now let's look at this middle piece right here. This little blue ball control allows us to rotate. If I click and drag up or down on it, I can rotate my video. And if you look at the top, you'll see the degree to which we've rotated it. So I rotated it 24 degrees. And then the number in the parentheses is how much I've rotated it since the last time. So if I look go, and then I start to rotate again, you'll notice that number in the parentheses is now zero and it'll tell you I've changed it four degrees or eight degrees or negative 33 degrees. If I click and drag out, I have finer control for rotating. So now I can get much more precise with my rotations. If I hold down shift, I can rotate in 45 degree increments. And then if I need to ever reset any of those changes, just click on reset. And then when I'm happy with my edits, click done. I can also do the same kind of rotation here in the inspector. If I click and drag up or down on this rotation value, you'll see I'm rotating the video. I can also double click on it and enter a value, or while I hold down shift, I can rotate in 10 degree increments. And if I want fine control, I'll hold down option while I click and drag up to rotate one tenth of a degree at a time. And I can always reset that by clicking this little arrow next to the rotation and select reset parameter. I can also change where it's rotated about. Right now it rotates in the very center. But if I change my anchor point by adjusting these numbers right here, we'll go negative 400 
and then I'll adjust my position as well to negative 400. And now when I rotate, it's going to rotate over here to the left. Notice that it's not quite in the center anymore. Okay, so now you know how to flip and rotate your video. You might need to crop your video. There are three different ways you can crop in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.